There are over 8 million people in Georgia. At over 7,900 gas stations, we Georgians consume over 13 million gallons of gasoline a day. Everyone depends on the bubbling crude, the black gold, Texas tea, oil that is, until now. The great veggie road trip is coming to a town near you. We're on a road trip. Can you believe we're doing this, man? We're doing it, buddy. Doing it. We're totally doing, doing it. Doing it, buddy. <laughs> Woo! Yeehaw! The lighter side is taking it on the road. I can't believe that we are actually in a vegetable car right now. That's right. We're and we're not we're not burning a drop of petroleum. It's all vegetable oil. Manning the wheel of our Dodge Ram Cummings diesel grease mobile is none other than the Georgia Authority on Alternative Fuels, Rob Del Bueno. I'm not doing it to get rich. Uh, I'm just trying to get the word out there. Yes, and that is our mission. Woo! Yeah! To travel across the state of Georgia to educate folks on how to be less dependent on petroleum oil and more dependent on cleaner fatty oils. I mean, what are we going to try to get across to people? What's our goal today, you think? Well, I think letting people know that there's another option to fuel their vehicles that's not necessarily more expensive, that's not some exotic thing. In fact, the diesel engine was originally designed to run on peanut oil. So here we are, doing it old school, the way it was supposed to be. <laughs> and you can thank German inventor Rudolf Diesel for that. He discovered that when you compress vegetable oils at very high temperatures, they explode with fury. Statum, Georgia. Population, 2040. No grease cars here, but plenty of grease. OK, we're at the Sunflower Cafe right here in Statum. We're going to educate them on some vegetable car oil. Hey, what's going on? We're doing a uh, the great vegetable car educational road trip. We're running our car on vegetable oil. Oh. oh, yeah. That's it? There it is. Wow. It smells great. That's fuel for us. It becomes trash to you eventually, but we turn it into fuel. We can use it to run our car. You want to smell our tailpipe? Yeah. You do want to smell our tailpipe? Yeah. <laughs> smell this thing. This is not, yeah. it's very clean. Yeah. It's like a Chinese restaurant or something like that. Yeah. Another converted person at the Sunflower Cafe. This. It gets the same gas mileage as diesel, so we got a 50-gallon tank in that truck box there. And you got to run fuel lines that are heated, because vegetable oil, when it gets cold, gets thick. So you start out on diesel, you drive around. Once your engine gets hot, you switch over, then you're running on vegetable oil. Of course, with anything new, we met our share of skeptics with lots of questions. That'll be awfully strange, everybody pulling up to a restaurant to fill up. It's an alternative. I don't think we're going to do the whole world on it. I beg to differ. Uh, well, I'm okay. going to take this whole Seven. place, first the south, then the world. OK, go for it. And educating folks is tough work. Yeah. I'm pooped. Yeah, I'm hungry, too, man. Uh, you know, we should just fuel up while we stop to eat. That'd probably be pretty good. Fuel up while we eat? Yeah. How you like that concept? So what is your utopia? What is your mission? I'd like there to be, you know, filling stations or fuel stations selling things like biodiesel, maybe vegetable oil fuels. Ultimately, it wouldn't even be considered an alternative fuel. It would just be fuel. So that was a delicious meal. It was. Did you agree? Absolutely. One thing we got to do, though, we got to fuel up before we go. Fuel up. That's when we stopped in the first place. All right, let's go. Let's head around back. Oh, yes. Good stuff, man? Gold mine. That's good. That's good stuff. Why the leash? I don't know why the leash. <laughs> Other than that, it's good looking stuff. Cool, man. Drop it in the bin. Yeah. You don't want to go too deep because there's all kinds of crud at the bottom. But that's it. That is cool, that's man. That's all we do. Where's the filter? The filter's over here. Oh, it's built in. There. OK. Yeah, so the pump's sucking it out of there, pushing it through a filter, and off we go. That is cool, man. As the sun faded, the veggie road trip was coming to an end. But I couldn't help to think about the grease we used, <laughs> the people we met, I don't know. the lives we changed. That's probably a lot less toxic 
All right, Rob, thanks a lot, man. Had a great time today. Yeah, we did. We educated a lot of people today. First Georgia, now the rest of the world. Giddy up, man. All right, take, take care. All right, see ya.